Hey guys, this is Vinny Penguin 64 back with more Plants vs Zombies and Crazy Dave's back. Hey, you've collected 380 pounds in coins so far. When you collect 750, I'll show you something really neat. -o. Yeah, don't be confused. Um, I'm British, so of course it's it's made in pounds. Um, pea shooters, definitely gonna need those. Just in case, and warm up. Let's rock. Plant. So, uh, what are you guys up to? T oh, what? Uh, my stars is still having a lot of trouble. I don't know why. I'm just having trouble clicking stuff recently. Anyway, uh, what I was trying to say is, what are you guys up to today? Well, obviously, yep. Ugh. Obviously, right now you're watching me play Plants vs. Zombies and have trouble clicking stuff with my stylus. Hmm. I don't know if it's the angle I'm positioned at or whatever, but I'm having a lot of trouble clicking stuff. And it's becoming a real pain. So, uh, as I was trying to say last time, the sun shrooms are the equivalent of a sunflower uh, but they will at first give you small sun which is worth well 15 sun and and then they will give you uh, 25 sun when they grow bigger okay don't want to see any more clicking troubles with my stylus I'm going to do this properly It's always a good idea to build up uh, a load of puff shrooms and then have some pea shooters at the back. And uh, you should probably have two puff shrooms in each lane. Ah! Oh, wrong lane. Oh god. Produce sun faster. Before this guy gets it, gets here. I mean. With the puff shrooms being short range, then uh, you're probably going to need a lot of them in order to take down the zombies. Okay, right lane that time. Sorry, I had an itchy nose. Can't tell if you could hear that, but. Wait, don't eat it. Thank you. Ugh, this... And uh, as you can see in the back there, one of the sun shrooms just turned into a big sun shroom. So now it's going to produce 25 sun. See? Sun's a lot bigger now. Since things are still going a bit slow, I'll try and come up with some more anecdotes to keep you guys entertained. Uh, for example, today, uh, as I'm recording this today, um, I started going back to school, unfortunately. And we were revising during lunch for uh, a biology paper that uh, we had tomorrow and uh, well we were we turned it into like a quiz uh, someone banged their hand on the table and then they would um, uh, well it basically worked like a buzzer and so if you banged your hand on the table first, then you will get to answer. And uh, well, we pitted uh, we pitted one of my friends, uh, a male friend, against another friend who was female. You know, we were going to see like who was better when it came to uh, revision quizzes. And uh, well, we were asking. Uh, a load of biology questions and the boy um, my friend who uh, uh, well he just got everything right uh, I don't know if he had fast reflexes or the girl had really slow reflexes but um, he was on fire he had the right answers he was always the first to come up with a with a solution and honestly there was no stopping him and uh, every time he answered a question correctly, the girl would say, Oh no, I knew that. That's not fair. I was going to say that. And we kept saying, 
Well, maybe you should have faster reflexes. Gotta keep that bucket head from getting any further. So, how about another comment question? Uh, do you guys uh, revise uh, like a, a special way? Um, what I'm trying to say is, how do you revise for school subjects? Do you revise at all? Because if you don't, it's nothing to be proud of. I mean, no one likes revision. Except for the nerds, but you know you you gotta try hardest when you're in school. You know, stay in school, try hardest. Okay, a lot of people are probably going to think I'm a giant nerd for saying that. And no lie, I quite am quite a nerd, but. Um, well, I'm very smart and stuff, and um, you could call me a nerd if you wanted to. But anyway, uh, so basically, how do you guys revise? Do you actually revise at all? And um, no one really likes revision, I don't, I don't think. But so, just leave in the comments below. Uh, how do you revise? Uh, I suppose that'd be quite interesting. Even though most of you guys probably won't enjoy it. Well, I've been rambling on about the same thing for way too long. I'm just going to shut up, let the zombie hordes come and shoot them down. Uh oh, we're close to the final wave and that push room is dangerously close to that grave. Hope you can shoot it down in time. There's a lot of push rooms close to the graves. Yay, more money! Yeah, and um, since now I can actually remember what you can buy with money, uh, I'm going to tell you that you can buy uh, new plants, obviously. You can also buy um, special lawnmowers uh, for the more difficult stages. And uh, you can also buy... Uh, uh, extra stuff like rakes. Uh, rakes can, um, well, if a zombie steps on it, he's instantly dead. Or she. Actually, are any of these zombies boys? Or girls? I mean, because, you know, they're undead, it's really hard to tell what gender they are. There's a chance for another comment question. Uh, do you think any of these zombies are girls? Because I wouldn't expect them to be. Okay, we've got a new plant. Wow, that was a long level. Okay, fume shroom, very useful plant. Okay, let's get to the next level. Okay, here we go. And now we have the screen door shield, guys. Uh, this is a good chance for me to show off my fume shroom. I was going to anyway, but, well. Uh, yeah. Freezy plant, just in case one of them gets too close for comfort. Gonna want to put some puff shrooms out. More sun shrooms. Yeah, the last level was quite long, so I'm wondering how long is this going to be? I'm just hoping that this doesn't turn into 16 minutes or anything, because then I'm probably going to have to split this into two half episodes. And that'll be a first for me. It's only my sixth video, so why wouldn't it be? Okay. Um, more zombies. Can afford more sun. I just want the zombies to drop more money, because, you know, well, I like money. Everyone likes money. Don't they? Do you guys like money? Oh, wow, we're getting a lot of comment questions in today. Hmm. Uh, I'm sure you do, and um, what do you like to buy with your money? Or do you use someone else's money? 
So, uh, there's the third comment question of the day. Wow, I have a lot to say this episode. Hmm, fume shrooms. I think I'll stick some of these at the front. Ugh. The fume shrooms um, recharge very fast, so that's quite useful. My stice is still having trouble. Well, at least you guys have got a lot of epic fails to look forward to. Because my because one day, uh, I'm going to misclick something with my stylus. I'm going to put uh, a pea shooter or something in the wrong lane. Everything is going to go pear-shaped. Everything is going to go wrong. I'll have to restart the level. And you guys can look forward to that one day. One of these days, I will have a screw-up that is that epic. Oh. Here comes a screen door guy. So this is what the fume shrooms are best for. Uh, they can shoot through the screen door shields. Should probably have one of these in each lane just in case a whole bunch of them come out of nowhere. Okay. More cone heads. Yes, so far we've been mainly sticking to the regular zombies. Haven't seen any of the time too uncomfortable with. Which is fortunate for me. But eventually things are going to get very difficult for me. Because when the heavily armoured zombies come in and the vehicle zombies, I struggle a lot. So... You guys can look can look forward to even more epic fails. You know what? I'm just going to stop tempting you with the epic fails that I'm most likely going to have and just get on with the zombie slaughter. Oh, we're already getting close to the final wave. Okay, here we go. I never even got to use my repeaters or snoopies. That one went by a lot faster than the last one. Uh oh. Grave zombies. Gonna need some more fume shrooms. Yeah, um, if you put a lot of fume shrooms down, then it sounds like, uh, it sounds kind of like bubbles. You know how you've got one of those uh, bubble ones, uh, you blow through it or anything, and it will just like, uh, oh, yeah, you know, um, you got all those bubble sounds. That's what it sounds like when you lay a lot down at once. Anyway, now we have the Grave Buster. This is what I've been looking forward to. You plant it on a grave to remove the grave. Of course, it can be eaten by the zombies, so you've got to make sure that no zombies are too close to it. But uh, that's about 12 minutes in or something, so I'm going to cut this here. So if you like this video, uh, subscribe to me. Uh, sorry, not forcing you to, but um, could just use a couple more subscribers. So anyway, I'll see you guys next time.